In news from Jamaica, there was uncertainty on Monday of the status of Police Commissioner George Quayler after reports surfaced that he had been asked to step aside from the top job. The commissioner on Monday, accompanied by members of the executive of the Police Officers Association, POA, had a high-level meeting with the National Security Minister, Robert Montague. Among the topics discussed were the murder spike on the island, the plan going forward and the embarrassing New Year's Day airport road gridlock. However, shortly after the meeting, the Jamaica Observer reported that the commissioner was leaving the job. The report further went on to say that according to a source in the National Security Ministry, Commissioner Quayle was told that it was time for him to leave during his meeting with Minister Montague. When CNews contacted the communications arm of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Head of Communications Dale Garrick had this to say. Unfortunately, I am not in a position where I can comment on that. Um, Commissioner was in a meeting. I haven't had a chance to speak to him and to get his um, view on what is happening. Meanwhile, calls to the commissioner's phone went unanswered. However, the JCF, in a release later Monday evening, refuted reports of a resignation. The release stated that, quote, Commissioner Quayle, whose career in the JCF spans 41 years, reaffirms his commitment to the people of Jamaica and asserts that he will continue to lead the men and women of the force in fulfilling their primary responsibility to serve, protect and reassure, end quote. Meanwhile, the Police Officers Association also responded on the matter, confirming that Commissioner did not resign, but stated that, quote, there needs to be some intervention to address the issues previously raised and repair the strained relationship between the Commissioner of Police and the Minister of National Security, end quote. Commissioner Quayle turned 60 years old this year, and recently, in an interview with Nationwide News, had said he would be retiring if not asked to stay on beyond the retirement age.